Hey, it's Lorelai. Join me as we take a quick trip to a nearby city to eat, shop, and drink coffee in one of the new cafes. It's been a while since we've seen civilization, so this road trip is a welcome break from the beach life. First stop, lunch. I searched ahead for restaurants and came across Z Market. Since I was craving for a burger, we decided to give it a try. I like the interiors right away, with its clean and industrial feel. They have a lot of Filipino foods on the menu, and luckily, they have a burger of it. And as usual, our eyes are bigger than our stomachs, so we ordered quite a few of their best sellers. I was gonna try their coffee here, but I went for the mango shake instead. So we got some special beef misono, some lumpia shanghai of course, and a misono rice, which came in this tiny and cute little stainless steel pot that it makes me want to buy some for the beach house. So my burger arrived and it looks okay, but it's not as juicy as I imagined it to be. But they have a big glass of mango shake, which is super yummy. And we also ordered chicken soup. After lunch, we headed to the new city hardware to look for a new grill. Our old one was very rusty and we thought it was time to get a new grill. It's not so scary to cook food in. Then we also needed a grass cutter because if you saw our last video, the grass was just growing out of control. And I ended up spending more time choosing between a rubber but durable looking cutter and an aesthetic wooden handle cutter. In the end, the practical side won and we got the cutter that would last longer. After the official errand was done, we looked for a coffee shop to get caffeinated and finally eat some cake. It was a cozy looking cafe with some decent cake offerings. They have a lot of good looking cakes and I wanted to try all of them. But I just ordered my usual latte and since I was feeling healthy that time, I ordered a keto chocolate cake which was a little bit dry for my taste. But it's okay, I'll just order another cake next. Since there was a 7-Eleven at the same place, we decided to go in and get some much-needed chips. Found some pasalubong for Katie, and now let's look for some chips. I like this 7-Eleven because look, it's so clean and spacious, and there are a lot of items on display, and it's all so neatly organized. Okay, I definitely love the 7-Eleven because they have rows and rows of beet cut, tortillas, and cracklings. And they have these mini bottles of beverages, you know, for your display or for emergencies. On the way back, we passed by some plants for sale. I know it's a long shot, but I was hoping to buy an olive tree for the garden and some hedge plants for privacy. I bought a few cypress trees because it reminds me of Tuscany and the man said they'd make great Christmas trees for December. And I also got a foxtail fern. Look, it's so cute! So I got six cypress trees for $150 each and a foxtail fern for $350. Now that I have everything I need, it's time to head back home. It was a quick trip to the city but I'm glad I got everything done. Plus, the coffee was a nice little treat. This fish has been waiting for its grill to arrive. It's already 5.30 and I still have to assemble the grill. So here I am preparing my sprues and bolts like a mise en place. I actually enjoy doing these things because it makes me feel like Tinkerbell, but with the pressure of everyone waiting on me so they can eat dinner, plus the sun is going down soon, made it a challenge. It took 
took me about 40 minutes to assemble the whole thing. Made a lot of do-overs because I kept forgetting the washers. And the solar light I bought before barely made any light. But I actually felt fulfilled when I put the last screw in. And they cooked the fish already using the old griller because it took me so long. Which is good because I don't think I'm letting anyone use this griller anytime soon. And finally, it's all done. Look at how white and shiny it is. I don't know anything about grilling but that's a job for another person because Tinkerbell is signing off.